Hi, and welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me, David Thomas. We've had a few requests when we've done the review on the uh, Competition Ultra L LGV, this rifle here. And people wanted to see uh, a recoil comparison against the uh, TX200 and the HW97. So uh, I'm in the man cave and I'm going to do a, a recoil test using probably a pellet as a guide rested on the action or on top of the scope. So uh, let's get straight on and have a look and see what the comparisons are. Recoil comparison test I'm going to be doing today is with three of my own rifles. The one on the left hand side is the uh, Air Arms TX200 Hunter Carbine .177 which I use for all my uh, HFT shooting. The next rifle is the HW97KT .22 which I use for uh, hunting and you'd have seen on the channel. Also I've got another TX200 to the far right which I've just recently bought off a member of the Air Arms Owners Club. That's also 177. So the comparison test, we've got a 97 HW and then we've got two TX200s. Let's see how the test goes. Right, where I'm going to be shooting it through, I'm going to be shooting it through my chronograph. So I should be putting my safety glasses on. And also to show you that it's a safe backstop, I've got a steel plate which is about 5 mil thick just behind where I'm going to be shooting to so safety glasses on right first up the Wolver LGV Competition Ultra 177 Balance a pellet in the middle, and I'll just zoom in. And I'm just going to cushion the rifle. Let's get in a little bit closer if we can without losing the focus. Right, so I'm just going to cushion the rifle. There we go. I think you can all see that move about the width of the pellet. Right, next up is my Air Arms TX200 Hunter Carbine So there again, that's just jumped forward, probably about the width of a 2-2 pellet again. Next up is my uh, HW97KT.22. And as you've seen, that one jumped forward, probably the width of a 2-2 pellet again. And last, my uh, newest Air Arms TX200 Hunter Carbine. 
0.177 which has got a slight problem with loading the breech so let's have a look at that pallet in the centre as all the other rifles I'm just going to cushion it safety that one there you see that that hardly moved probably the width of the 177 pallet Well, that's the recoil comparison test over, and I hope this has uh, helped out a few of the Vermin Hunters TV subscribers, for they were the guys who asked for this uh, comparison test. I haven't got a spare scope for the uh, Welver LGV, but um, I think you'll find it was a fair test with me putting it on the action rather than the scope. The other rifles are scoped, so I had no choice, but I think it was fair on top of the scope and the action for a, a fair enough comparison myself so there you go guys that's the end of this uh, video so uh, if you like what you see give it a thumbs up subscribe for future uh, episodes from vermin hunters tv from Sai and myself thanks for watching I'll just zoom in for you guys. Oh, shot! <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Next up is my uh, HW. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, I hope that... Oh. <laughs>